I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit hesitant about making this video because I don't wanna do it to jump on anybody else's coming out or anything like that, you know? But this is great news, great representation and just a really happy thing for the trans community and for Elliot Page personally that I really wanted to talk about it as a trans man myself and just like share it and just chuck out as much happy and positivity on this as possible if that makes sense. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> hey Spuds, how's it going? It's Jamie, welcome back to another video. Your first video, I don't know, but welcome either way. Thank you so much for clicking on it. I hope you're gonna enjoy it. Today I'm coming at you with a happy thing, positive trans news. <gasps> yeah, we love it. Um, and it's come at a great time because 2020 has not been the best year. I think we can all agree on that. <laughs> but right as we entered the last month, the end of a bad year, Elliot Page offered a huge chunk of positive. He just chucked it on down there for everybody. You might know Elliot Page from films such as Juno and Whip It and TV shows like The Umbrella Academy. Well, he's come out as transgender and uses he, they pronouns and goes by the name Elliot. Before we crackly, crackly, <laughs> crackly, I meant to say before we properly crack on with this video, I just wanted to take some time to point out that right now and moving forward is a time to respect Elliot and his name and his pronouns and everything like that. So from now on, Elliot should only be referred to as Elliot and using he, they pronouns. This is the case for all trans people. When a trans person comes out, it's really important to immediately do your best to start using their new name and the correct pronouns for them. And you know, mistakes are inevitable, accidents, slip ups, they will happen as long as you are doing your best. That is what matters and it is so important to do your best. Also, when talking about trans people in the past from before they came out, still use their current name and pronouns. So for Elliot, even when talking about his past movies and appearances and things like that still refer to him as Elliot and using he they pronouns. Okay, trans dad moment over. Thank you for listening. I just thought it might be important to like put that info out there for anybody that might be unsure. Especially because celebrities have such high profiles there must be a lot about them from before they transitioned and it, that probably makes it easier for people to just slip into using previous names and pronouns and it's really important to do your best not to do this. Even if people like Elliot Page are never going to hear what you refer to them as, it's like the people around you who hear that and there's a general message about the trans community as a whole and just general respect for trans people, that's why it's important to use the name and pronouns that they currently go by. So Elliot came out via a really powerful statement on Twitter and Instagram yesterday, I don't know when you're watching it but that was the 1st of December 2020 and was instantly trending and to be honest I was quite impressed with the initial response particularly in terms of like newspaper headlines. I, I was expecting them to be just not that great, but they they were pretty decent. And from what I've seen generally, the response seems to be predominantly positive, which is great to see. Like as a trans person, not that this is about me, this is about Elliot, but just seeing them receive so much love from various different people, places, sources, it's like, it's so uplifting. I don't know how else to describe it. And maybe that's the echo chamber I'm in online talking, but at least a good chunk of response has been positive. <laughs> Coming out is always scary to do and it must have been terrifying to do so on such a huge scale to so many people and I just wanted to take a moment to read Elliot's coming out statement. Hi friends, I want to share with you that I'm trans. My pronouns are he slash they and my name is Elliot. I feel lucky to be writing this, to be here, to have arrived at this place in my life. I feel overwhelming gratitude for the incredible people who have supported me along this journey. I can't begin to express how remarkable it feels to finally love who I am enough to pursue my authentic self. I've been endlessly inspired by so many in the trans community. Thank you for your courage, your generosity, and ceaselessly working to make this world a more inclusive and compassionate place. I will offer whatever support I can and continue to strive for a more loving and equal society. I also ask for patience. My joy is real, but it is also fragile. The truth is, despite feeling profoundly happy right now and knowing how much privilege I carry, I'm also scared. I'm scared of the invasiveness, the hate, the jokes, and the violence. To be clear, I'm not trying to dampen a moment that is joyous and one that I celebrate, but I want to address the full picture. The statistics are staggering. The discrimination towards trans people is rife, insidious, and cruel, resulting in horrific consequences. In 2020 alone, it has been reported that at least 40 transgender people have been murdered, the majority of which were black and Latinx trans women. To the political leaders who work to criminalize trans health and deny our right to exist, and to all of those with a massive platform who continue to spew hostility towards the trans community, you have blood on your hands. You unleash a fury of vile and demeaning rage that lands on the shoulders of the trans community, a community in which 40% of trans adults report attempting Enough is enough. 
You aren't being cancelled, you are hurting people. I am one of those people and we won't be silent in the face of your attacks. I love that I am trans and I love that I am queer. And the more I hold myself close and fully embrace how I am, the more I dream, the more my heart grows and the more I thrive. To all trans people who deal with harassment, self-loathing, abuse and threat of violence every day, I see you, I love you and I will do everything I can to change this world for the better. Thank you for reading this. All my love, Elliot. Wow. Wow. That is like... Oh, that could make me cry. <laughs> Damn. Firstly, coming out is something that always deserves congratulation, applause and support. And this might sound a bit strange, but honestly, coming out is a scary thing to do. It, it really is. It's a vulnerable thing to do and it does deserve congratulations because it takes a lot for most people to overcome that fear. On top of that, for Elliot to have used their huge platform to not only come out and speak about themselves as a trans person, but to also shed some light on what it can be like to be a trans person in society and the discrimination and violence that many trans people face, particularly trans women and trans people of color, is truly admirable. In such a personal and probably very scary moment, he also used it to spread an important and powerful message. There is all too often a lack of respect and compassion towards trans people, which is just horrible to see, to be honest. We've seen celebrities speak out against the trans community. We've seen trans rights taking multiple steps backwards in multiple different places. And whilst it shouldn't always work this way and it's not always a good thing, celebrities really do have a big influence and it's just, it's nice to see positive influence over the trans community. I really hope that what I've seen so far reflects the truth in terms of the responses Elliot has gotten. I really hope that they are overwhelmingly positive because that is what he deserves, that is what any trans person deserves when they come out. And I definitely only want to focus on those positives for this video. Because although scary, anyone deserves their coming out to be a freeing and happy moment. It's a big reason why I wanted to make this video, to just throw out as much positivity into the the atmosphere for Elliot Page, like just, just chuck it out there, go on, have all the positive. And to the trans community in general, you know, like I've seen some negative things like circling around a couple people jumping on it instantly and not being very nice, but we're not gonna pay attention to that today. It's not worth it. I also wanted to talk about the fact that it is a big step in terms of representation for the trans community to have such an influential and high profile celebrity come out as trans. We've seen it in other communities when Ellen DeGeneres came out and other people coming out as gay, the influence it can have an increase in understanding it just it really does go a long way when people see celebrities online and, and people they look up to coming out and, and being in certain communities that they maybe didn't know anything about or didn't even accept it can help open minds not that this is about me at all but just quickly as a trans person myself and somebody who has admired Elliot and I remember being a kid watching Juno I have this feeling of like wow like someone so visible and somebody who's been so vocal about supporting the LGBT plus community and fighting for equality has come out as trans like this is this is huge and this feels like an inspiring moment and this is why representation is so important Elliot Page coming out will for sure inspire many young trans people and older trans people, particularly, in my opinion, trans masculine people. But it is really important to also remember how cool this is for Elliot personally and the fact that this is his journey and his life above and beyond whatever positive impact this may have for the wider trans community. This is Elliot's moment first and foremost. So thanks for listening to my little ramble about this. I just really wanted to have a chat about the importance of this from a representation perspective from a personal perspective for a trans person that has just come out and just how important it is to respect trans people and their journeys, whether they are a friend, an acquaintance, someone in your local shop, somebody at your school, in your workplace, or even a celebrity. It's so important just to respect who they are. If you feel like you want to, please do go share some love towards Elliot. He's at the Elliot page. Sorry if this feels like a short, I don't know how short it's gonna be actually, or left field video, but I just wanted to congratulate and celebrate Elliot, share how much it meant to me and how meaningful it is to the trans community in general. And just remind everybody, don't be a dick and respect Elliot's name and pronouns and the name and pronouns of all trans people. So yeah, that's everything for today. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Think about giving a thumbs up and subscribing if you want to, but no pressure. And as always, I'll see you next time. Much love. Bye.